In this short video, I'm going to show you the difference between metric type 1 and type 2, specifically when redistributing some routes from other external areas into OSPF area. Now, what I have here in this topology is an EHGRP area. Rather, 17 is representing this EHGRP autonomous system for me. Rather, 13 here is the redistribution point, and I have already done the redistribution. So, let's check Rather 17's routes. First of all, if I go to Rather 17, show IP interface brave you see that I have some routes here and if I just show run section rather EIGRP you can see that I have imported all of them into EIGRP network now let's go back to router 13 router 13 is my redistribution point so if I show run the section router OSPF you can see that I have already done the redistribution here all routes from EIGRP should be available in OSPF area. So let's choose one of the routers and see what the cost is to the destination. Let's say here router 6 is the ideal point to check everything. So if I go to router 6 and show IP route, you can see that I have those routes imported from EIGRP. All of them have been imported as E2, metric type 2. And if you check the distance to the destination, you can see that the distance is by default 20. It doesn't matter how many hops to get to the destination, what the bandwidth is, none of these things are important here. Metric type 2 always advertises 20 as the you know metric to get to the destination. So let's go back to router 13 and change this a little bit. So what I'm going to do is to go to router OSPF1. Here I'm going to choose this, but instead of having the default metric, which is metric type 2, I'm going to type metric type and now I'm going to choose metric type 1. Now what is the difference between metric type 2 and metric type 1? Metric type 1 advertises the route without saying this is the metric you need to use. So if I do that and I'm going to save everything and I go back to router 6 as a matter of fact what I'm going to do is to check routing table one more time and here what I see is a different metric if instead of 420 what I see is 4020 because of uh, the autocost bandwidth that I have changed for all the routers now 10 megabit per second cost is something like 1000 and if I check here I can see that from router 6 to router 7 then to router 9 then to router 11 then to router 13 I have four hops that's going to make 4000 and a 20 for the redistribution so this is all we have here